<laughs> All right, here we go. We're here with Albert Lee, uh, Total MMA Studio uh, amateur fighter, and uh, just uh, finishing his fight last week with uh, Get Down Promotion. So, Albert, tell us about the fight. How'd it go? Well, uh, Giuliano just hit me up and told me, uh, you know, you got a new opponent. Uh, he's three and one. YouTube him, so I YouTube him, and he picks up guys, he slams them, and he TKOs them. So I was thinking this guy had no hands, and my plan was actually keep his, you know, keep his standing. So he comes out and he gets me with his right hook. And when, man, like I told everyone, when he hit me with that right hook, two things crossed my mind. Two thoughts crossed my mind. One was Al. Two was, <laughs> all right, you're wrong. He can strike, put his ass on the mat. Sorry, I'm allowed to say ass? Yeah. I meant to, to project him in a forward motion until his backside hit the cage floor. <laughs> So tell us, um, you know, during the match we saw it a couple times. We saw uh, you get picked up, slammed. Uh, you were, but you were definitely working for submissions. Uh, tell us, uh, what did you, uh, what did you feel about the about that triangle right at the end? It looked like it was pretty, it was in deep. Uh, you just couldn't get the the uh, the squeeze. What was going on in your head? Uh, man, dude, I don't know. It was pretty heartbreaking. Like the triangle is my favorite move. Um, but like I always said, like in training, when you're training with your your training partners, you know, you get in the triangle and they're just like, oh, you got me tapped. But you know, when you're in the cage and the guy just want to tap and he's punching you, it's a little different. So I gotta, I don't know, maybe tell you guys to start throwing punches at me while I'm getting a triangle. Don't tap out to it so easily. Not that I'm saying get you, but I'm just saying but for all my teammates out there watching this video. But yeah, I don't know. I thought it was tight. I mean, the video it looked like I did everything right. You know, I got it all the way in, pushed the arm, got the head. He just won't tap. Like I was, you know, it sucked. But I mean, you know, got the W, so happy with that. Yeah, given a couple more seconds, I think it would have definitely made the difference. That elbow was across the uh, across the belly button. Right. Now, uh, I believe this is your first win. Yes. So uh, That's how does why that you're feel? You right now, because you didn't want to interview me before when I lost two times, and <laughs> now I, I get the win. Now you're sticking the camera in my face. <laughs> so how does it feel to capture that first win? Honestly, like it was, it was, pretty, it's. I was so happy, but it was one of those things where it's like. Man, if I honestly, if I lost this fight, I probably would have taken a long break and just done Jiu Jitsu tournaments. But you know, uh, kind of like got a little fire in my ass, kid. So I, you know, I guess I'm doing another one December 8th. So nice, nice. Now, um, what got you into uh, to um, MMA or uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Uh, what was the, you know, what led you to it? Well, I played, you know, I played football in high school. Um, I was pretty good at it, but I mean, when you're like 5'9, 180, and you play defensive tackle. <laughs> USC, UCLA, they're not exactly kicking down your doors, giving you scholarships. <laughs> so, you know, with fighting, there was uh, there's weight classes and stuff. And I, honestly, I don't want to get any punch in the face because, I mean, I know you would disagree with this, but I'm actually not a good-looking guy, so it's not like I'm putting my uh, modeling career in jeopardy. So, you know, like, I don't mind getting in there and getting punched. I mean, you can see my, my eyes pretty, uh, pretty red. It actually looked a lot worse on Saturday. On Saturday night, my, this eye was swollen. This lip was, like, you know, sticking up. And the sad part is some of my friends said it was an improvement, so <laughs> jerks. <laughs> so tell us tell us about your uh, your relationship with Giuliano Prado and Adriano Nazal. Uh, I've been the uh, branch of the BCT team for like a long time. I was actually the Long Beach one and then uh, I went to UC Irvine, so I just kind of like uh, uh, transferred over this one because it was closer and then uh, I guess it's because uh, this one there was a lot of guys who does MMA so I ended up just coming here just full time now so switched over it's kind of it's the same thing BTC to BTC so like at LA Fitness you can go to anyone definitely definitely I'm looking forward at your next fight is there anything you're looking to uh, improve upon are you going to work more on your wrestling your striking your conditioning uh, just honestly to not get hit so hard because my mom when she saw my face after the fight she was pissed off and uh, she wants me to quit fighting and all that stuff and um, I just, you know, so yes, uh, that being said, I'm going to fight again. It's going to be behind my mom's back. Uh, if I have anything I can say to my next opponent is uh, don't hit me too hard because my mom's going to kill me. <laughs> but okay. yeah, honestly, too, I'll probably want to work on my striking because I probably didn't even throw one effective strike on the feet. I just, you know, just kept taking them down. So you make some use of my purple belt, you know, so. Definitely. Well, I mean, it was a good, it was a good fight. I mean, everybody was loving it. Uh, you know, showed a lot of heart. So, you know, thank you very much for your time, and uh, we look forward to seeing you for the next one. Anything, uh, anything you want to say? I just want to thank uh, my coaches, uh, thank my teammates, and my opponent for giving me the free Halloween contacts. Scare the kids with. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. All right, thank you.